Today we unbox the brand new Techno EB48.4, their newest 1H skill four wheel drive electric buggy. Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and there you have it, the brand new Techno EB48.4. This is their 1.8 scale four wheel drive electric competition buggy kit. Now this is the fourth generation of EB48s. Now of course there was the EB48, no .1, but there was a .2, I own the .3, and now we have the .4. In this video, we'll be unboxing this thing, see what you get inside the box, see what you may need to get this thing fully assembled, and we will be doing a couple of comparisons between what makes the .4 different from the .3. Now that we have the tour around the box out of the way, let's crack this thing open. Got my handy ZT knife and let's get this thing cracked and see what we get inside of this box here. So Techno always does really, really nice kits. I mean, they pretty much upgrade these things and, and keep them to a very high standard as far as uh, the amount of upgrades and running improvements that they do. And that's kind of why we see so many 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0.4 versions of their vehicles because they just make good stuff. So. Um, inside here, they, they do their typical techno sleeve around the actual box, and this is where the magic happens inside of here. Ah, nice. Now immediately I'm seeing uh, a new body, which is definitely nice um, immersion from uh, Techno to give us a new body now for the .4 version. We've seen the same body on all of the original EB versions. So the new body, here it is. This thing is pretty cool. I like the angular design of the kind of windshield up there. And it definitely resembles a kind of fighter jet look as they said in the website. And it does have this kind of thin line going back here just to help with directional support uh, once you have the buggy in air. Uh, but all in all, it, this thing looks a little bit thicker than the stock one. And just to give you guys a comparison between the stock one and this one, this one right here is the previous uh, gen version of it. So pretty much just a big bubble and that was it appears a little bit thinner and this is a painted body so um, this one feels uh, thicker than the original EB48 body. So as we get into some of the parts here I pulled everything out of the box and here is some of the, of the supplement items you get. You do get a gearing recommendation chart just to give you the size of motor you may be running right here versus a small track large track and just to give you an idea of what pinion tooth to run. Now. I've not seen too many companies do this, and I definitely like this from Techno. You do get some window masks right here to mask off your new body. A sticker sheet that actually gives you kind of like windows right here, like netting and definitely a uh, fighter jet inspired kind of little design right there. Definitely like that. They're doing some cool stickers these days. And then finally, the owner's manual, which is definitely in Techno fashion and probably one of the best written and illustrated manuals in the market. The two main bags contain all of the parts. So right here, this thing is hefty. This has differentials and basically the entire buggy, including the new arms and everything else you'd expect in a high quality buggy. This package includes all of the shock assemblies and pins and some of the side guards right there, even an antenna tube. Uh, but more of that, we will go through some of the differences here very shortly. Three other items is the chassis plate, which has improved metals now to allow for a better wear. Now, one of the biggest complaints on any eight scale buggy, especially running outdoors, is the amount of wear that goes on on these chassis. So this is 7075 aluminum, so it will wear better than most. Two of the last items, you do get a white wing with some aluminum serrated wheel nuts and some wing buttons and clips. You also get a full set of fluids over here. So I'm looking at some grease right there, some Loctite or 
thread locker 450 550 CST shock fluid, you do get 7,000 and 10,000 weight diff oil. I went ahead and brought in my EB48.3 just so we can compare the older features versus the new features on the 48.4. On the new design, we have front bearing supported spindles, which is a nice feature, adds for a little bit more precise and very consistent in all conditions. On the old version, we just had basically a top hat and a screw going in. So a little bit less consistent and the new one is gonna be very, very smooth. The new front A-arms allow for a through pin design, giving a captured in on either side with lock nuts. The old design just allowed for two screws on either side that could come loose in the pinch of a race. The new Ackerman bar actually gave a huge internet frenzy saying that there was the new 48.4 leaking out. Well, this one is the new design and it allows for smoother steering response and gives better stability out of the corners. So super nice design. The old version was definitely different, almost a dog bone looking design and this one should be much better. Finishing off the front end, we have 2.5 millimeter hex cap screws that attaches the A and B blocks. On the previous design, these are countersunk screws going into the A block and new screws should allow easier access to the differentials. The 48.4 utilizes front and rear universal drive shafts. They provide more consistent performance throughout and are a little bit better in the handling department. The old version uses the CVDs, which are gonna be a little bit hard to pick up in the video, but trust me, they're there. Suspension wise, the EB 48.4 uses a complete CNC shock package everything is now CNC'd. From the bodies to the internal guides, they use flat pistons now, and overall the setup has been changed. It is now using an emulsion style setup in the manual, and you can build these three different ways now, and it's all included in the package. You can build them emulsion, vented, or non-vented. Well guys, that has been my quick unboxing of the Techno RC EB48.4. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this unboxing and also the compare between the .4 and the older .3 version. Techno is always making things better and I applaud them for doing so. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any questions about these items, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.